Ninja Warrior UK's fourth series has been a fantastic success amongst viewers, with folks keen to see athletes pushing themselves to the very limit, but it's also been as much about Chris Kamara's extravagant emotions, let's be honest. With the mouth-watering prospect of Mount Midoriyama awaiting the eight finalists, would tonight's June 9th episode see the show's first-ever winner? Advertisement, continue reading beloved Sebastian, Sam, the recovery kid, and Brendan were the three unfortunates to fall flat on the swinging monkey pegs in tonight's first round. However, the likes of Mike, Johnny, Darren, Ali and Tim sailed through the initial challenges. Tonight it was once again the Chris Kamara Show, live in Manchester, with the co-host providing some well-needed overreactions to cut through the tension. As the crazy cliffhanger claimed a number of the remaining five contestants, including the beard to be feared, Ali Hay, it was Darren Perez and Tim Sheaf who mastered the challenge for the first time in Ninja Warrior UK history. Well, we knew it wouldn't be host Rochelle Humes before the two record beaters could face Mount. Midoriyama, they had two more parts of the course to complete, with the spider flip up first. Darren and Tim dispatched the awkward challenge with ease, but unluckily fell at the next turtle. Parkour purists are probably now left to with a hollow Saturday night, what could have been, a eh? Advertisement, continue reading below but seeing as Tim made it a couple of jumps further than Darren, he was officially crowned this year's last man standing. Twitter was ablaze with activity and hope during the show's broadcast, but with the finale producing yet another winless conclusion, fans' posts were painted in disbelief but also praise for this year's last man standing. Will the mountain finally be conquered next year? We'll have to wait and see. Want up to the minute entertainment news and features?